Hey everybody, it's me Sarah. Um, today I'm going to do a Weight Watcher Wednesday. Um, that's right, I follow Weight Watchers plan and I power lift and I also crossfit. So I'm definitely a non-conventional power lifter, lifter, workout person, whatever you want to call it. But this is exactly what works best for me, best for my body type and makes me happy. So deal with it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take you through a typical day of what I eat. Um, obviously it varies day to day, um, but this is going to be a Weight Watcher day and I'm going to um, explain how many points every meal is, how many points a day I get, and whether or not I use any other extraneous points. And <laughs> sorry for the background noise. Jack! Jack wanted to say hi. Uh, I'll show you who Jack is. There's Jack. He's very talkative today. Right, Jack? Oh, now he's silent. And there's his sister, Daisy. Daisy! Daisy! Hi! So, anyway, <laughs> um, back to my day. I'm about to make breakfast. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, I work from home full time. So that's why I'm able to be at my house for this. <laughs> and uh, let's get started. Okay, so here's basically the setup of what I'm going to have and make for breakfast. I've got one very large Fuji apple. It's the last one I have. I love Fuji apples. Uh, two whole eggs. I'm going to do that. I love over easy, but I don't like eating them plain um, as the yolk gets everywhere and then I have nothing to sop it up with. So with these two eggs, I'm going to have just one of these Arnold sandwich thins, whole wheat, 100% whole wheat. Um, and then my daily vitamins include just fish oil. Um, I like to have two tablets a day, um, which comes out to, I believe, three grams of the fish oil. Um, I think it says uh, up here somewhere. Uh, four, oh yeah, <laughs> duh. 1400 milligrams, um, which I believe is 140 grams. And I think if you double that, that's more like 300 or close to 300. And you want three grams. Okay, so then that must be 1.4 grams and I want three. Anyway, I have two of these. Um, it says clinically proven to control fishy burps, which is a bold-faced lie. Um, and these things are pretty darn huge. Uh, I don't take four, I just take two. Um, but I have that with my breakfast. And then I typically have um, just plain water, a Nalgene full. I'll have about two or three of these, oh, three or four of these a day. So I'm getting up to close to a gallon of water a day. So I'm about to make my eggs. Um, I love this thing. Um, I'm not even sure what it's called. Um, it says Omelette Ease. Something like that. Anyway, it's really great for making um, eggs because then you can flip it without completely ruining it. I am not a pretty omelet maker. I'm not a pretty egg maker. But with this, I can actually get some decent looking eggs. And this circle is like the perfect size for my sandwich then. So let's get started. Okay, um, just to get the, this, it's supposed to be a non-stick pan, but trust me, it's not. So um, I'm just going to put some olive oil non-stick um, non cooking spray on this, on here. And it works better when I hold it upright. <laughs> and actually, I got a new bottle, but I could just use this until it dies. Get that lid back on. Okay. And then get some eggs in. Okay, so while these two eggs are cooking and Jack is being annoying, what do you want? What's wrong? That's what I thought. Uh, while these eggs are cooking, uh, I'm going to talk about points here and uh, get you guys, um, let you guys know how much, how many points my breakfast is going to be. 
Um, each egg is two points, so that's four points right here. Salt and pepper are zero, obviously, and I really didn't use that much. My The sandwich thin is three, the apple is zero, supplements are zero, water, zero. So we're looking at seven points for this entire breakfast, which is a little high. Um, most Weight Watchers, I would say, tend to keep it in the four, two to four range, um, and that is for people who I feel will have only egg whites, maybe an egg white omelet, or use the better than eggs, the um, fake stuff. But I want the protein from the yolk. I want a real egg, so I'm going to have it. And like I said, I am pretty messy with over easy eggs, so I have this sandwich then to one, help me eat it, and to sop up all the yolk that will inevitably spill all over the place. Okay, so they have it. Um, eggs out of the pan. Um, they look pretty good. And I'm going to take all of my food upstairs to my office and chow down. So, first meal of the day, egg sandwich, apple, and water, and my fish oil tab supplements, seven points out of 27, which is what I get on a daily basis right now, um, and so that leaves me with 20 for the rest of the day. Okay, so here you can see my tracker. I'm going to log my breakfast that I had today. Let me zoom in a little bit. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> clearly, it was good. Um, I already have it logged in here as a two egg sandwich. Two eggs, four points, one Arnold Select Whole Wheat Sandwich in, three points, seven total. Add to tracker. Then I'm also going to add my apple, even though that is zero points. <clears throat> I will add it anyway. And then um, I had my vitamins, I had an apple, and my Nalgene counts technically as four cups of water, being 32 ounces. Um, and I'm estimating, talking about having um, eight ounce glasses of water. So that is covered. And as you can see, um, it is Wednesday, so I don't have any more Wigglies left. However, I do have a lot of activity points. Um, I just try not to use um, as many of those as possible uh, since it's through my Fitbit. I just don't know exactly how 100% accurate it is yet, um, how many will help me lose and how many won't. So daily use 7, daily remaining 20, and that's all I have for now. Oh, I just wanted to... Um tell you guys something else um, outside of Weight Watchers um, that I obviously do. I'm, I've been a lifetime member for over a year now. Um, obviously I'm not at my goal weight at the moment, um, which I think I sort of explained, but not really. Um, I gained some weight over the summer going to Germany and now I'm trying to just lose it back. Um, it's about five to ten pounds that I need to lose. Um, but anyway, Outside of my general health and my general well-being and wanting to be back at my goal weight uh, for my optimal strength um, in powerlifting and um, mental sanity, <laughs> I am also doing a little competition with a couple guys from my CrossFit gym. Uh, we are currently in the middle of leaving our current space that you saw in the video the other day and you'll continue to see for a couple more weeks um, and then we're going to move down uh, about five minutes away from where we are and we're moving to like a space that's supposed to be about twice the size or something and I believe it's estimated that we're going to be there late November early December and it's currently September 24th so we have about a month or two until that move is 100% solidified. So, point being, uh, two guys and I have decided to do a fat body fat percent challenge. Uh, we all use the little handheld machine that measures body fat uh, about last week and are doing a competition to see who can lose the most body fat um, between now and the time that we are at our new facility. 
Uh, there's um, not a huge prize on the line, but two t-shirts. And you can never have enough fitness apparel, although my husband would probably disagree with that statement. Um, and obviously I'd love to get back to my um, lower weight, my lower body fat percentage. Um, so just uh, letting you guys, filling you guys in on that aspect of um, my weight loss journey, I'm getting back to goal as well. And um, just to give you some reference, my current body fat is pretty depressing. Uh, it's at an all-time high of 32.2%. .2%. Um, just last fall or spring, I can't even remember now, um, I was down to 26 and I was aiming to get to 24% body fat. Um, but then again, I was also about 10 pounds lighter. So I think once I shed this extra summer weight and get my head back in the game, um, which I, I think won't be too difficult to do, um, I'll get back down to that 26% body fat and hopefully kick some boy butts and win myself some t-shirts. So just thought I would let you guys in, um, in on that little competition and I'll be updating as we go. Um, tomorrow is my weigh-in at Weight Watchers actually. I only really trust that scale. Um, my scale at home, um, I, I just... I'll use it for um, a reference, and I, but I really don't weigh myself um, daily or anything like that. It, mentally, it just messes with my mind and I get too obsessive about it. So I try and leave all of my weigh-ins to once a week at Weight Watchers and just use their scale, use their printouts, um, and I will be sharing that with you guys um, hope, maybe in this video. I haven't really decided yet if I want to just do only food or what. Uh, but yeah, so just thought I would let you guys know what's going on in that aspect. And um, onward to the rest of the day. All right, welcome back. It's about 10 to 12. Okay, well, it's exactly 10 to 12. It's not just about. Um, and I'm heating, preheating the oven to 450. It's currently at 100. Um, I need to refill my Nalgene, 32 ounces down, and then I'm getting ready to make lunch. Now, I just want to say in here that a lot of people give Weight Watcher members a bunch of shit, um, excuse me, a bunch of crap about not eating well, that we just eat fat-free junk, and while I can't say that I'm the cleanest eater, um, I can say that I at least strive to be better than that stereotype. So anyway, um, I'm going to make tortilla pizzas because I love pizza, and but tor pizza is just like terrible for you. Um, and I can eat the whole one. It's not like I could eat like two slices. I don't know how you can eat two slices and be like, oh, I'm full. Weirdos. So anyway, I have these Mission tortillas, 100% whole wheat. These are three points per tortilla. I'm only going to use one. My favorite all-time pizza sauce, Don Pepino. Um, there's a fat man on it, so clearly it's got to be good. Um, and I only use a couple spoonfuls of that. I believe that's only like one point. Onion, because I like onion on my pizza. Zero points, because it's a vegetable. Um, and then I've gotten fancy lately. I don't want to treat myself. I've got this fresh mozzarella slices. Um, now, one ounce of this is two points. And uh, one ounce of this cheese is literally one slice of this cheese. Um, if I can get it open. Okay. Ah, okay. Um, which, <laughs> I don't know about you, but um, I don't think I could ever just sit down and be like, oh, I'm just gonna have one, one slice of fresh, fresh mozzarella cheese. Like literally, uh, okay, that's just got some breadcrumbs on it but from yesterday. But this is one ounce of cheese. Yeah. So, um, since I would eat like the whole thing and it would be probably really not a great idea, I put that on my pizza. That way I can enjoy it in its single serving thing. Same thing goes with prosciutto. This is from Sam's Club, this prosciutto, it is, I love prosciutto, oh my god. So when I see it, I try and buy it in big, 
big pe bulk sizes because um, one, I love it, and two, it's expensive. So this again, this is also uh, one ounce servings or two ounce, no, one ounce, and it is also two points. And then I have some fat-free mozzarella cheese, don't look at the bananas, um, that I'm going to put in sort of like as filler because one ounce of this is not going to be enough cheese for a pizza. Come on now, let's be real. So I'm going to do about a serving of this, um, which is one point as well. Altogether, we're looking at about nine points for lunch. And if I could do math well, um, 20, I had 20 points after breakfast and sometimes I have a snack. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll have like a mid morning snack. Um, let me just turn this around. But today I just, I actually wasn't hungry. So don't force it. Right. If I'm actually not hungry, I'm actually not going to eat. So that's why I'm just skipping to lunch. 20 minus nine. Well, 10 minus 20 would be 10. So, so that means I have 11 points left and I'll log it and um, show you the math and everything for real once I finish cooking it. And so what I do to make this pizza is I assemble it. I'll show you it all assembled and I bake it at a 450 degree oven for 10 minutes on a pizza stone. If it's just on the rack, like if you don't have a stone or anything like that in the way, you can only, you only need like seven minutes. Um, I basically just want the cheese melted and the tortilla crispy like a crust. Um, so <laughs> um, that is lunch. Okay, just so that you know I'm being honest, I'm gonna show you me weighing out the prosciutto on my scale since it is not pre measured uh, like the mozzarella. As you can see right now, I have the sauce, the onion, and the mozzarella on there. There's some. And sadly, it is not one ounce of prosciutto. It's just really not a lot. And it is like sticking together. <laughs> this is not easy one-handed, by the way. It's probably too much. 1.1. You know what? 0.1. I'm not going to die. Daisy agrees. We're not going to die. Who is outside barking to, I don't know, I guess herself. Um, point one is like, oh, Jack's out there too. Jack! Okay. <laughs> really? One here. One. That is literally how much I took off. So, I'm being fair. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh-oh. Okay, sorry about that. We had a slight dog emergency. <laughs> um, Tweedledee and Tweedledum over there. Uh, we're being annoying. Anyway, I finally got it all down to one, one ounce. I'm leaving it alone. And putting it on the pizza. Okay, and then here's the fat-free mozzarella cheese. One serving is 28 grams. 28 grams, right there. I'm gonna put that on top as like a filler cheese to fill in all the holes. That one ounce of real mozzarella could not get on the pizza. And by the way, the tortillas suck lately. Um, all of my tortillas in this package stuck together, which is why it looks like there's a bite taken out. I did not eat a bite of it. Um, they all stuck together. So that was as whole of a piece as I could get. And then what I like to do, because I'm crazy, is I like to add crushed red pepper flakes. Um, I feel like it gives pizza like a little bit of bite and makes it exciting. And I cannot open this with one hand. So, all right, once I got it loose, I'm good. Okay, we'll just sprinkle this, get it baked in. Because when I put it on top, I find that it like falls off of the cheese and then it's everywhere. and. So there it is ready. Now I'm just have to wait for the oven. Only a couple more degrees to go and then we'll be ready to bake. 
While I'm waiting for the oven to heat up and for my food to bake, um, I'm actually kind of hungry. So I'm going to have one of these. Really? Anyway, um, I'm going to have one of these. It's two points. Greek 100 calorie. Um, it's actually like, I think it's like zero fat. Um, yeah, it's zero fat. Greek yogurt, um, and I compared these sugars to um, plain yogurt, and that if I had added like fresh strawberries to, and they were surprisingly similar. So that's why I just was like, screw it, I'm just gonna get these Yoplait Greek 100, and you can buy them in a 12 pack for a decent price at Sam's Club because that is the closest bulk shopping store near my house and then I don't spend like a dollar on these things. So I'm gonna put my pizza in the oven and then I'm gonna have like 10 minutes to eat that and I should be okay. I'm a fast eater. Okay so while the pizza is baking I'm going to enter um my lunch into my computer. Um, I'm really sorry that the camcorder is making the screen all wonky. It helps when I'm farther back. So I'm gonna just do have keep it further back right now and I will zoom in as we go so you don't have to like cross your eyes as much. Okay so this I'm gonna add, I made a recipe or rather I made a meal of the personal tortilla pizza. That includes the two tablespoons of store-bought pizza, one-fourth cup of shredded fat-free mozzarella cheese, one mission tortilla, and um, this one has one-fourth cup uh, cooked artichoke hearts, which uh, is zero points, so it could be good for any um, vegetable you want to have on there. Points plus value, five. So I'm going to add that to my midday. Uh, then I have to add the prosciutto and the mozzarella. So prosciutto, here we go. Um, one ounce, two points midday, add to tracker. Then the mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, one ounce, two points, midday, add to tracker, and then the Greek yogurt. Greek 100 grams. Now, okay, don't, don't be persnickety. I know it says black cherry fat for yogurt, but they're all the same freaking points. So, I just pick one and go. Here's my 11 points. I have nine daily remaining. And I'm going to add my next Nalgene water. I got my smiley face. I know that technically that one thing is not a serving of yogurt of uh, dairy but I'm counting it because at least it was something. Had onions on there. I'm counting that. Uh, and not to mention the cheese. Uh, cheese plus yogurt. That's one. Um, and one vegetable for the onion. One serving of vegetables for the onion on my pizza which I know is measly but um, just want to mark down that I had vegetables. It's kind of a good reminder. So save that. And soon we get to eat. And there's the finished product. Mmm. Looks so good. All baked together. I'm going to cut this into four little pieces and enjoy. Okay, it's about 10 to 2. Oh. Nope, a little eight to two. And I'm ready for a snack. And um, so I'm gonna have 30 grams of this forest berry trail mix. Um, it had yogurt, <laughs> it had yogurt chips in them. But one day, um, a while ago, I kind of ate them all out. So there might be like one or two in here, but really there's nothing in here. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, one fourth cup or 30 grams is um, four points, um, which is high, I understand, but this is a healthy fat and has, uh, oh, look, there's one chip, there's one chip. Um, it's really good for you and or me, and so I'm going to have 30 grams of this. Let me just get my food scale. 
Turn it on. Okay. I have a little cup. Usually that's about all I need. Zero it out. Okay. And then uh, I just, I sort of am picky about um, ratios of nuts to um, like how many almonds versus cashews versus other stuff. Um, so I like to be picky about that. Okay, that's 16 grams. There's the 27. Oh, I think I can get that yogurt chip. <gasps> got it! Like the last one in there. Oh, no, I found another one. Hold on. Booyah! 29. And let's see, let's do like a piece of dried fruit. Nope, still 29. I really like this, like sweet and salty mix. There we go, 30 grams. Uh, so four points, um, which takes my nine to five for the evening. Um, in case you haven't guessed, I'm going to go over my daily points of 27, uh, but that's sort of the norm for me. Uh, but I work out <laughs> and I log it for, through Fitbit and w you'll see it. Um, I can show it to you on my Weight Watcher app. There we go. Okay, need to go back to my day. Okay, this app has gotten so much better, it's not even funny. Scan foods. I use the barcode scanner for this. Oh, whoop, sorry. Wild Roots Forest Berry Trail. Anytime track. So, I, as you can see, I still have a ton of activity from this week that I haven't used, but that's because I try and use it moderately. Still have five for dinner. Um, and then I also have my healthy checks I need to fulfill. Um, so, tonight I plan on having um, some more vegetables, and I might have a banana after I eat these nuts. <laughs> and obviously, I'll have some activity going on. So, that's where we are right now, and I will see you for the next fooding. <laughs> okay, as you saw from my last shot, um, I had a uh, banana and two carrots that I peeled, and now I'm on my third Nalgene of 32 ounces, three quarters of a gallon of water. Yay! Oh, and those, the banana and the carrots were zero points. Okay, so for dinner, I'm going to make what I would, what I'm going to call chili. Um, I have ground turkey breast, um, I believe 99% lean, 1% fat. Um, this whole, I'm going to put this whole package in and brown it first. And then I really wasn't sure what else to do. Uh, I'm kind of winging it. I got tomato puree because my husband doesn't like tomato chunks. And I thought this would be a good base. Um, I got small red kidney beans, which um, he won't eat, so I'm not sure what, how I'm going to get that in there. Um, and then diced tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano. And I would have to like use the immersion blender with this anyway. So I was wondering if maybe I blend it all, that this will act like a thickening agent since I forgot to get tomato paste for this recipe. And then you'll eat it and... I'll eat it and it'll be great. So I don't know. I'm on the edge for that one. And I'm just going to season it with garlic powder, chili powder, ground cumin and paprika and some salt and pepper. Um, all together I'm going to say that this is going to make about six servings. I'm estimating that. Um, I'm going to have to find out once it's all put together. And if it does make about six servings or if I force it to make six servings, then this one bowl of this will be five points and finish out my day. Um, so it'll be a good source of protein, fiber, a little bit of vegetables if you want to count the mashed up tomatoes as such, uh, or carbs, however you want to see it. So I'm going to make that and we'll see how it comes out. So 
Um, it appears those ingredients only make spaghetti sauce. I seem to have perfected a turkey meat sauce of sorts. Uh, <laughs> it tastes extremely tomatoey, not chili y at all. Clearly, the first part way I went wrong here was not using a recipe. That would have been helpful. I thought maybe owning tomato products, meat products, and chili powder would be enough to make chili. It's not the case. So, <laughs> plan B! I have sauce, and I'm going to make some whole wheat pasta to go with this, which will up my dinner to uh, 10 points. Not a big deal. Oh, and I, if you can't tell already, I pureed the kidney beans. And so this is like the most meatiest, fibrousest spaghetti sauce ever. <laughs> and there's protein, yay, yum. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so um, I have the sauce pretty much done here. And now I need to see how many grams is um, this whole thing is. And I did not weigh the pot before I cooked, which apparently upsets Daisy a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have my scale here. I have it cleared out with the Tupperware that it's inevitably, inevitably going to go into. And I'm going to pour the sauce into here and do some simple math. I need two hands for this though. Hold on. Okay, so this whole thing weighs 1,698 grams. So, if we use our handy dandy calculator, one, six, nine, eight, divided by six equals 283 grams. So that's going to be my serving size of this now sauce, not chili like it was supposed to be, um, whenever I have it. And that should be an even six servings for all those out there who do Weight Watchers or who cook and don't know how to like divvy it up like that. This is one way to do it. So I'm just going to go write this down, 283 grams somewhere. I don't know where. I have it on tape, so maybe that'll be sufficient. And I'm going to go walk the dogs while this sort of just sits here, and then I'm going to make my pasta, and I'll be back. Okay, so I didn't end up eating before I went to the gym. I just wasn't hungry. Um, but I'm going to heat up my spaghetti chili sauce, and I'm going to make two ounces of whole wheat spaghetti to go with it. So I'm going to measure that out now. 1.6. Two ounces of spaghetti just never seems enough, but whatever. You do what you got to do. Especially when it's carbs. Alright, there's my two ounces of spaghetti that I will be eating. Okay, now that the pasta's done, I'm going to add 283 grams. I finally found something to write on to put on my sauce slash wannabe wish thought it was going to be chili. And here we go. And yes, it's cold. Don't judge me. This one. Whoops. Two. It's going to be kind of a lot, which is good. All that protein and fiber. <laughs> oh, nope, almost. 286. Goodness. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit of spaghetti with my sauce today. Oops, too much. Back it up. Oh, perfect. Let's close it. Okay, and um, I enjoy a little bit of chemicals with my food. I love, I can't believe it's not butter spray because if I were to have real butter, I would be even heavier. Anyway, so this is going to wrap up my day. Um, I'm going to apologize now for my slicked back look. I just took a shower from the gym. Uh, but hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something and I will talk to you next time. See ya. 
Okay, so last night I actually forgot to show you guys this. This was the end of my day. I had 32 points that I used. There's my breakfast, my lunch, dinner, my snack. I did not log my um, carrots and banana snack. Um, as you can see, I earned 12 points from the Fitbit, but I did not use them. Well, not all of them. Um, so I went over uh, my points a little bit. Uh, let me do the math here. By five, which is really not bad. I mean, especially since I went to the gym and everything like that. So, let me just get the camera on me. Uh, <laughs> good morning, it's another day. Uh, magic. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this first day eating Weight Watcher Wednesday. Um, I'm leave a comment below if you want me to do another one if not if you don't leave a comment I'm probably still gonna do it uh, unless you say please stop that was terrible um, <laughs> which who knows anyway um, thanks so much for watching like it and I'll see you next time bye